Welcome to episode nine. Originally, this was going to be just a summary of the first eight episodes, because in that I had covered all of the three page spectral processor manual. And boom. But at the end of the day, I decided I'd do one more patch just for my own enjoyment and exploration. And it is a very simple patch, and it's all about feeding back the spectral processor into itself. So let's take a look at that. Okay, this is probably the simplest and most complex patch I've ever encountered. I simply take odd output of the spectral processor and go to odd input. And then I take all out, and you'll notice I'm at A levels, so we can see what that sounds like. This is all feedback now. And you can tell with each new band, it starts to interact and change everything. And we can go to band B, changing the morph over to that. A, B, There we are in envelopes, and of course we can start cycling uh, a 281 and send that to a bandwidth. And another one. And of course, we can morph between the two. Boy, just think of it. 16 channels of voltage controlled feedback. I mean, this is, this makes my brain explode. So whole new sonic universe is there. So what if we take that same patch and add some uh, random pitches into the even side? Here's what they're sounding like. Let's go into a transfer mode. Just 
just changed the uh, lowered the pitch on the oscillator. Adding some modulation to the uh, oscillator. And modulation out. Okay, have a blast. This is just the tip of this feedback iceberg. If we take a pitch that changes in frequency, like we used in episode 8, and apply it to the even, then we can sweep the feedback. There you go.